Welcome back. The UNC School of the Arts is gearing up for their Chamber Music Festival. It's the first of three performances and it's happening this Saturday. So joining us this morning is Dmitry Vorobiev. He is the co-founder of the Chamber of Music Festival, also a part of the faculty at UNCSA's School of Music. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So uh, since you are one of the co-founders of this, I want to know what inspired you to begin this festival here. Well, we wanted to have something where the School of the Arts is really visible even more and something that provides benefit for our faculty and students uh, by inviting guest artists not just to perform a concert by themselves, but actually perform a concert with students and with faculty so everybody benefits from it and that's what we're doing we started with two concerts which were on tuesday and saturday and this time we're actually having three concerts to celebrate the 20th anniversary of watson hall which you see right behind me um we have a concert on the 14th of october which will feature woodwinds and piano and we have a concert on Tuesday and Saturday the 21st. So the 14th, 17th, and 21st. It looks like a beautiful hall behind you, Dimitri, too. If we can talk about how important it is for UNCSA students specifically to be able to work with some of these world-class guest artists that you'll have. I think it's incredibly important because um, it's something they they have a completely different experience. Most of the time when we are talking about chamber music, we assign a piece to them in the beginning of semester. They rehearse with their um, uh, friends, with their uh, the other people who are in the chamber music group. This one is very different. They know that they have to perform a certain piece. So the guest artists get here. We have two, maximum three rehearsals, and then they're on stage playing. So that very quick turnaround and uh, just a very uh, rewarding experience because they're on stage. They have guest artists who sound incredibly good. Yesterday, I had a chance to hear the first rehearsal of Beethoven uh, Woodwind Quintet with piano, very, very little bit, but they sounded really great already. And that just really makes them rise up to the occasion, so to speak, and have a great experience, which otherwise they wouldn't have. Nice. Well, you were mentioning some of those guest artists, how incredible they sounded alongside the students. Can you tell us more about who those artists are? Yes. For the first concert, we will have Alex Fitterstein, clarinet, who teaches at Peabody uh, Conservatory, wonderful clarinet player. Then we'll have David Birdmare, a French horn player who teaches at the University of Denver. Uh, both of them, they will be featured in each uh, in two. So the, the rule that we have is uh, out of the three pieces performed each concert, two guest artists will be featured in at, at least one guest artist will be featured in two pieces. I'm so sorry. This is complicated. No, that's OK. Uh, <laughs> but then on Tuesday, we have David Birdmarrow again and Yeva Yokobavichute. Uh, who teaches at Duke University, a wonderful pianist. Um, and then we have Eric Kunz, uh, who is playing viola in one of the pieces, who teaches at, in Appalachian State University. And for the Saturday concert, the last concert, um, we will have um, Axel Strauss playing violin. He teaches at the University of Montreal in the McGill uh, School of Music. And we have uh, Kim Kashkashian, who is um, pretty much a um, piece of history and sort of one of the greatest viola players who ever existed, I think. And then we have Brent Taylor, cellist from the Chicago Symphony. So all three of them will be in the last concert on the 21st. And the other thing I have to say is every piece on every concert that we are doing is extremely accessible they all stood the test of time these are compositions which are loved by all classical music lovers so if people don't know much about classical music these are the concerts to attend because each piece i think they will really feel close to in my opinion at least there is nothing that be shocking or something that you really don't understand i mean everything is just on a high level and extremely accessible that's amazing. Quickly, quickly, Dimitri, can people watch these concerts from home if they can't make it out to Watson Hall? 
you have to register online through uncsa.edu. There is a link where you can get a link for streaming and it's absolutely free. But we prefer, of course, the live performance, of course, is never as great as what of you're course. watching online. Yeah, <laughs> that is definitely the truth. Yes. Dimitri, thank you so much for your time this morning. For everyone at home, that website is on the screen again, too, to watch those from home, but to find more information. Also to just visit that website, you have three chances to attend the Chamber Music Festival this month. Each concert is happening live inside Watson Hall on UNCSA's campus.